PSN Profiles gave this game a 9 out of 10 difficulty rating, and I personally wanted to experience how hard this game really is. Today, we're playing Silent Hill 2. So apparently there's one trophy that haunts every trophy hunter's dream at night, and that's the Who Needs a Gun trophy. To get this trophy, you'll need to get the green hyper spray. And to get the green hyper spray, you'll need to finish the game with 10 stars. To get the 10 stars, however, you'll need to beat the game on hard difficulty, get all possible endings, collect a total of 150 items, and to kill at least 75 enemies using melee and 75 more using guns. Sounds bad, right? It actually gets worse because I'm not done yet. On top of all of that, you can only save twice, beat the boat section in under 80 seconds, beating the game while taking less than 500 points of damage, and beating the game in under 3 hours. Was I intimidated reading this? Of course not. Did I shit my pants instead? Yes. For now, however, the plan is to just enjoy the game and get used to the controls. It's been a while since I played a game with tank controls, so let's see how I do. Bing! You gotta aim lower, man. You gotta aim lower. Come on. Bing! Alright. Eventually, we'll run across this little girl named Laura who we chase across town. She leads us to a nearby hospital, then lures us in a kitchen where we'll have to fight these feet things. They're called flesh lips? I won't even ask. After we're done hanging out, oh, brother, this guy stinks! we get our first trophy called Where's That Letter? The next trophy is for killing Abstract Daddy. I hate how that word is so nasty nowadays, like who started that? To get the Childhood Trauma Trophy. After collecting 150 items, we also get the Keen Eye Trophy. At the end of the game, we'll have to fight two pyramid heads wanting to turn us into shish kebab. After beating them, however, they end up stabbing themselves into a T-pose position, which I am still confused about. But we get the I don't need you anymore trophy. Right outside of this room, we'll finally encounter Mary. After transforming into the nun, I condemned her into the fiery depths of my shotgun barrel, and we get the trophy, say goodbye. Out of the six endings, I also got the leave ending for a trophy called Free to Go. After beating the game once, I actually unlocked the secret setting option, and through here, I can adjust the ammo drop to be multiplied to three, which should help a lot for the 10 stars run. Now, it's time for my next playthrough. But this time we have to get a different ending. I decided to go for the in water ending for this run. Each ending has their own different requirements. For example, to get the in water ending, you'll have to examine Angela's knife, read the diary pages on the rooftop, read the messages found in a bar, use the headphones at the hotel, and to listen to the entire hallway dialogue at the end of the game. After doing all the requirements for the ending, and I forgot to listen to the headphones. <laughs> I forgot to listen to the thing, dude. Knowing this a little too late though, I decided to finish up the game anyways and I ended up getting the Maria ending for the second best trophy. Before ending the stream for the day, however, I accidentally stumbled on my previous save file that allowed me to listen to the headphones and finish the game. And I want you guys to remember this moment because this moment right here is where I thought I was slick. Anyways, I ended up listening to the headphones and finishing the game to get the in water ending for the goodbye trophy. To get the born from a wish ending, we need to play Maria's scenario, which is actually really short so it's not that bad. After finishing her scenario, we got the Restless Dreams trophy. Now it's time for a hard playthrough to prepare me for the notorious 10 star run. The ending I'm going for here is the Rebirth ending. To get this ending, we need to collect 4 special items which are also trophies on their own. Starting the run, I forgot that I can pick up a chainsaw. Picking it up gave us the overkill trophy. The first special item we need is the white chrism, and we get the fountain of youth trophy. Second special item is the book of lost memories, and we got the not so lost memories trophy. Third special item is the obsidian goblet, and we get the unholy grail trophy. And the last special item is the book of crimson ceremony, and we get the light reading trophy. After beating the game, we also got the warp speed trophy for completing the game in 3 hours or less and the Say Your Prayers trophy after getting the Rebirth ending. Now that I have everything I need, it was time for the infamous 10 star run. This is it. This is the final run to get our Platinum. At the beginning of the game, inside the stalls of the bathroom, will be the blue gem and the We're Not Alone trophy. We also use this gem later on to get the UFO ending. The most ideal thing to do in this run is simple. Patience is key. We just need to not get hit a lot. No! Fuck. Alright. Alright. Fantastic start. Ow. Nope. Nope. Ow. 
All right, you know what? That's fine. Excuse me. It's all good. We'll just trigger this cutscene. Also, with the first pyramid head giving me a heart attack. <gasps> Whoa, dude! Chill! Leave! Your mom's calling. God dang. This dude is slow, but if he hits you, it's pretty much game over. Across the street where you find Maria, you'll see the little doggy house with the dog key and the man's best friend trophy. This is also the key we'll need to get the dog ending, which is the ending we'll go for our 10 star run. Since we only get two saves, I read that it's recommended to save just before the pyramid head chased at the hospital. Apparently this whole section is completely RNG. No. You can make it James, don't worry about her. She was fine. After having Maria die for the first time, I can already tell that this part is going to be absolute bullshit. Oh, I got it on my second try? Sweet! Second try! Once we make our way out of the hospital, it was time to farm 75 enemies with melee and 75 with guns. This part was also the reason why I avoided killing a lot of enemies on my earlier runs. Because I needed the trophy to pop to tell me if I already had the required amount of kills. 75 curb stomps later, I got the melee master trophy. Now, we need to do that all over again, only shooting them this time. Unfortunately, I didn't look up any guides for farming, and I actually ran out of enemies. With a time limit on my mind, I decided to move on and hoping that I'll have enough enemies on the later sections. The second save point that I was going to use is right by the abstract that- Alright, you know what? We're going to change his name because I absolutely hate saying his name. For the purpose of this video, this weird thing is now called Bob. Hi, Bob. Hey there, hi there! There is the cheese method that I found that can pretty much stun lock Bob in place, which makes this boss fight really easy. The reason why I want to use my last save in this part is because if Bob here kills you, then all the farming progress we just busted our ass for is all for naught. The Eddie boss fight is probably the toughest boss in the game if you don't know what you're doing. But there are two stages in this boss fight, and the hardest one is the second part. If Eddie manages to hit us a couple times, especially if he gets a shot in, then it's back to the drawing board because we do need to be under 500 points of damage taken for our 10 star run. I did have to watch a video for this and to successfully trick Eddie, we just have to dodge his punch and shoot him as he's walking away. Then he'll keep trying to punch you, keep doing that until he dies. But knowing myself, I got way too impatient and I ended up dying. Eventually, I ended up killing Eddie and getting our last kill for the Keep Your Distance trophy. Next up is the other infamous section where a lot of people struggle a lot, and that's the boat section. We need to complete this section in under 80 seconds. Sounds easy enough, but the controls actually change on hard difficulty. From simply pushing the analog stick forward to move, now we have to control each paddle separately with the left and right analog stick. This is officially my first attempt on this run, and as expected, I didn't get the trophy. So I had to restart my game and go through Bob and Eddie once again. Ha, huh, my freaking messed up. Oh my god. No shot, he didn't freaking react to that. That's insane. On my second attempt, however, I managed to get the don't keep her waiting trophy to pop, and that's to finish the boat stage in less than 80 seconds. I'm not entirely sure if I just got lucky or what, but the boat section was actually pretty easy. Unless Konami recently updated this game, which might be the case, I guess. Finally, reaching the Lakeview Hotel, the final area of the game, we just need to finish a couple puzzles, and we are finally done with the get. After another fun time with my two best friends, Bob and Eddie, I eventually made my way back in the hotel, finishing the last puzzle and finally beating the game to get our 10 star run. No, God, please, no, 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 no. I managed to get all the required trophies for doing this run, but for some ungodly reason, the game didn't register one of our endings. Thinking back on it, I remember cheesing one of the endings and this is the price I had to pay for taking the easy way out. 
We did need to unlock another ending for a trophy, so I ended up doing that in the meantime, and just figured this out later. In this run, we had to use the blue gem that we got in the beginning of the game and use it in three locations. After the Flesh Lips boss fight, we end up in this garden, which is the first area we need to use the gem on. The second area is at the docks right after the Eddie boss fight, and finally, instead of watching the videotape, I used the blue gem and got the UFO ending, getting the never to be heard from again trophy, which is going to be me eventually if I can't get this platinum. Once that was done, I had to figure out what I needed to do. So I had to speedrun the game again, but this time trying to get the in water ending legitimately. After following a guide to an absolute T, we finally beat the game again, just to get another Maria ending. I did notice, however, that the game gave us a 4 out of 4 clear ending, so I thought maybe we just needed the Maria ending after all. With that misunderstanding dealt with, I reloaded my save and finished the game again. It still didn't count as an ending clear, and at this point I was already dreading the thought of replaying the whole game again. But I already made it this far so I wasn't keen on giving up so easy. I did have to take another breather before I start another run. Coming back from my short break, after I cooled off and cleared my head, now it was time to do my second attempt of this 10 star run. I had all the confidence in this run since I already knew where to go and what to do. Up until I reached this point however. Unlike my first run, I wasn't as lucky with the RNG anymore. Without wanting to waste any more time, I had to look up a cheeky guide on what to do. After following said guide, we managed to finish this part and we were once again off to the races. With my kill trophy already popped, I did have to manually write down every kill I did for this run, which was kind of annoying. I did have my number one fan in the chat helping me out as well. Eventually we meet up with our besties Bob and Eddie, working out our thumb muscles on the boat section and finishing the final puzzle and we are finally done with the 10 star run. No way. Oh, dude. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. I don't mind frustration by a game being hard, but this was different. I can't exactly explain how I felt at this moment. I didn't feel a frustration. I just felt drained, felt tired. I felt defeated. And the thought of failing this after making it this far is just the worst feeling I've ever felt. I had to get up and rethink on what I need to do next. After looking for the issue, I realized that my cheese method from earlier definitely did not count. So now I just need to get the end water ending, and that's the only thing I could think of since all my Google searches led to nowhere. Apparently I'm the only person on planet Earth that's experiencing this. Feeling the need to finish this at this exact moment, we go through yet another playthrough and try to get the Mary ending, just to get another Maria ending. Like, now I'm just confused on what I'm doing wrong. I tried watching the headphone scene and I still got the Maria ending. I tried examining the knife and reading the diary and the message to us at Nelly's bar without healing once this time, and I still got the Maria ending. Also, I wanted to include that after the stream, I tried going to bed, but I just couldn't sleep after this defeat. So I replayed the game again and actually examined everything 20 times over, and I still got the Maria ending. At this point, I thought I was going to give up, but after getting a good night's rest, I decided to run it back and try to do something different. I tried deleting saves and reinstalling saves to see if anything happens with no success. Just as I was about to give up entirely, something clicked in my head. Maria. And I got an ending clear. I was getting the dog ending and I can't get the ending clear. I got it from Maria. If I got this on here, which says four out of four plus two, I just need to get the Maria ending and I'm good. So I decided to do a test run to see if this is actually doable. And... Holy shit, the clears worked. Oh my God. Just gotta get my damage down. There's a chance the light in the tunnel showed itself. If I get my damage down and my saves down, that's a 10 star rating, baby. With that tiny glimmer of hope in arm's reach, we finally had a goal. And that's to do the 10 star run while killing the two pyramid heads and the merry boss fight. I was extremely motivated at this point and I felt like I couldn't be stopped. After watching a video again on how to stun lock the pyramid heads, this just became extremely doable. After the pyramid heads was done, it was time for the last boss in our way to greatness. This boss fight was extremely hard because we couldn't get hit as much to avoid receiving more than 500 damage. And after killing Mary on our first run, there's no way. There's no way I made that. There's no shot. I got down so many times. I think I healed like at least 300 points, which is like 600. Fuck. 
586, bro. That's so ridiculous, man. And I was certain that I'm gonna get this on my second run until I messed up on the pyramid head section. And you know what they say, third time's the charm, but this time, I'm locked on, and I try not to get hit by Mary as much, and... Oh my f god, die, mother f Give it, give it to me, please. Give it to me, please. No f shot! With my fourth run, however, a miracle happened, and I ended up not getting hit by Eddie once. Also not getting hit by the two bobs by the hotel. I was having a perfect run up until... Bro, come on. What the... What was that? No way. I wanted to restart from here, but I figured might as well finish it. So I had to channel my inner Kawhi Leonard against the Sixers at the playoffs. The only thing going through my head now is to not get hit by Mary. Unfortunately, she did manage to hit us multiple times. And in my bones, I knew I had to do another perfect run like that to make this work. Until. Oh my god. Is it the Kawhi Leonard of 10 star runs? Is it the Kawhi Leonard of 10 star runs? Yes, let's go! Oh my god. Like, it is freaking vibrating in here, man. Like, what? Finally, after all the hardships I've endured, I finally got a 10 star rank. And all that's left now is to start a new game, go to the motorhome, and equip the green hyper spray. And the final trophy was mine, along with the platinum trophy. Let's go! It's over. <laughs> it's over. This journey has been the toughest I've been through. Not because the game is hard, but it's because of the bugs in the game that may or may not have been my fault to begin with. But we're not gonna talk about that. Still, I've had a blast playing this game again after decades. And I wanna give Silent Hill 2 a 9 out of 10 and a 7 out of 10 in terms of difficulty. Unless you're thinking about fighting Mary on your 10 star run, then I agree with PSN profiles giving this game a 9 out of 10 in terms of difficulty. But with enough patience, anyone can get 10 stars. It's definitely not skill dependent since I know I'm trash at the game. So if I can do this, so can you. But if you guys enjoyed that video and want to watch me live going for more trophies, my Twitch channel is in the description below. Also, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more Platinum videos. With that being said, my name is Doco Bell, and I hope everyone has a phenomenal day. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real.